Make sure you guys check out my eyelashes at shaynaaponte.com slash shop. I am currently having a sale that will be ending soon. Um, I put it up for the holidays, so the link will be in my description. Make sure to go check it out and get your lashes. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. Okay, I have a sports bra on right now. Anywho, um, sorry about the lighting. This is the best that I can do, and I have like a little ring light right here, but it's not really doing much, but it is helping. Um, so this is going to be my winter, I would call like night routine, but more so like, should I do it like a night routine? More so like skincare, like, um, but I don't know, but I don't know how I'm going to do this video. I might do it into like a skincare routine. I might do it into a winter night routine. Um, I don't even know yet, but I think I'm leaning more towards like skincare. So I haven't done a skincare routine since like about a year ago, right? And I'm using different products right now. So anyways, what I first like to do is I like to use this headband. It's like I use this headband to hold my hair back whenever I do my makeup. It's the OMG one. I need to wash it. It's dirty makeup. Let's see. But it comes in handy for when I want to wash my face. I just put it on. I do want something smaller, but this will do because this is all I have right now. I cover the ears and I pull my hair, I meant the headband right here. Like about right there. So it covers my roots because I don't want my roots to curl up. So, as you can see, my skin is oily. I've had my makeup on for quite some time. I'm taking my lashes off, and by the way, these are my lashes right here. Um, by myself. And I'm wearing the lashes Olivia. I'll leave my website down here and in the link below. So yeah. Um also probably in the beginning of this video I'll probably have like showing you like my website, you know. Anyways, so I like to remove my lashes, best feeling ever. Put them back in. Ooh, that one was tight on my eyes. Put it back in the box. Put those aside, it looks so much different without um, eyelashes. Oh, almost got one thing. I almost forgot the most important part, like wipe makeup off. I use the makeup eraser. It's dirty right now, I'm gonna wash it. Mm. But I use this to wipe my makeup off. I no longer use makeup wipes unless I don't have a makeup towel with me and I need to get some wipes. But I like using a makeup towel because I can wash it, reuse it. I save money. I used to spend so much money on makeup wipes, and honestly, they dragged my skin out. Especially the Neutrogena one. Neutrogena one, like I think it has fragrance in it, and it just burnt my scalp. I mean, my scalp, my skin. So I like to wait for the water to get like kind of hot, because when I wipe my face off, it's like opening my pores. I just don't want to wipe my face with a cold like towel because it's kind of like uncomfortable, you know what I mean? So, pretty warm, it's like room temperature. What about squeeze it? I don't like it soaked, and I just like it like damp, wet enough, and I wipe my face. I don't have a specific way in what direction I wipe my face. I don't. Um, I just wipe until all the makeup is off. 
I gotta wash this, so I'm probably gonna use the more clean side. And it's actually a lot softer. Okay, so make this off. Now I look like I'm 12 <laughs> with tattoos. So what I first go in with is my Vanity Planet. So I don't know if you guys remember last year, I used like a manual like brush. I'll leave my last year's skincare routine in the description, hopefully I remember. Um, but I use like a manual like brush. Now I use Vanity Planet. I do not have a code, but. I love it. Um, it comes with three heads. Two are like these. One has like the black and then this one I think is like for exfoliating. Um, um, that's focusing. I don't have the other one. I don't really see the difference. I think one of these are a little softer than the other. So I'm using the more soft one. And the mistake that I made before is that I got the whole thing wet by accident couple times so I just clip this on I wet it a little bit right here usually I have like a towel to hold it but it's okay um and then I add like my face wash well I wet my face I'll show you so I wet it prefer preferably how do you say it <laughs> warm water and I just like move it on my face to kind of get my face damp Did you see now? And what I've been using recently is the Neutrogena, and I was just talking about Neutrogena wipes, but this doesn't irritate my skin. So, Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser, Normal to Oily Skin, which is what I have. Maybe it's gonna go dry though. A penetrating and through thorough cleanser that improves your complexion. Yeah, so I just take it. I just do like one full pump, maybe like half. And I rub it in around first. Cause if I just hit the button to go, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't do it properly. It feels so good. I take it down my jaw and my neck. I also wash my neck in the shower, but it's important to wash your neck too. Cause when you put makeup on, you can make clean neck, right? Hopefully you do. Um, yeah. Now I hit this thing be squeaking because the battery's be messing up. Sometimes I have to adjust the battery. Watch. There we go. All right. So it has two levels, two speeds. This is the first one. This is the second one. I use the second one. When I'm using the more harsh. Um, head or bristle. I use the first speed because it's more gentle. And as I clean my face, I move it. I don't just hold it, but you gotta move it around. And I do it in circular motions. I usually break out on my cheek a little bit, a lot on my chin. I just go around. I don't really have like a time limit on how long I do this for. I just do it until I feel like I'm done. Make sure you get the forehead and the eyebrows too. You have product in your eyebrows. Sometimes I do break out my eyebrows and it's painful. Very sensitive spot. I like that this face cleanser is like foams. I have like a lot of steps that I, this video is gonna be long. Yeah, this is gonna be like a winter night skincare routine, definitely. This video is, I'm using a lot of stuff in this video. Open my eyes a little bit. You know, I'm getting the eyelashes, mascara. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's makeup. You see that light brown? That's makeup. 
So I take the head off because you don't want to get this wet and I just rinse this off. And then I wet this a little bit. I put it on and then I add a little bit more face wash, like a little bit more. And I, this you kind of gotta like go hard. Cause it kind of gets stuck in there. Yeah, it kind of does. And then I just hit the button. Oh, oops. Play me, I always gotta readjust the battery. I don't know why it does this. This should be rechargeable. So in a second speed, and you see it foaming. I just add a little bit more face cleanser. Get on the sides of the nose. For the neck. Cause sometimes I break out my neck and my jaw. Pretty much it. So I'm just gonna rinse this off, wash my face, um, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the next step. So I just washed my face. I will usually use a towel to dry my face off, but I'm using a paper towel because I'm in a different bathroom in my house. Um, and I don't feel like going to get my towel, but I'm just like pat drying my skin. I don't ever like to really, really dry my skin out. My skin's already dry, and even if it wasn't dry and like super greasy, I would still pat dry my face. So now, um, since my skin is dry, I have like these samples from Sephora and, um, not samples, but like when you redeem your points, you can choose like what you want. So I have the rose face mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones by Fresh. Looks like this I have two on me because I'm running out of one of them. Yeah, this one's done. So that's basura. And this one's empty too. Oh my goodness. Wow, I played myself. Alright, well I'm just gonna use what I have. Anyway, this feels really good on your skin. I'm just gonna put on the, like the dry area of my face. This feels so good on the skin, like, it just feels like amazing. I wish I had more, I thought I had more. It's crazy. Whatever. But normally I will put it all over my face. Right now I'm just putting on the areas that are like very dry. Like when I tell you very dry, I mean very, very dry. Mm, I want. I need to buy like the full size. I need to. Yeah. I put on my eyebrows too, because my eyebrows get really dry. I also have some product right here, so I'm just gonna take some of that, put it on my cheek here a little bit. So basically, you're supposed to let it sit for five to 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna leave it on five minutes, come right back, my face is gonna be washed off, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So, I look shiny as hell, but I just washed that off. I forgot where I got this from, because I threw out the freaking box, but it's like one of these like pore sucker things. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, and it comes with different heads, but I can't find the other ones. But this one is like larger and it's like a little, see that shape? And then you have this one. I had another one, I don't know what happened to it. It looks similar to this, but without the metal. I don't know what that's for. But I already have a tiny one because like, you know, I like to go like this and it gets in small areas. So this is why I say, you know, when you wash your face, wash your face with like warm water. For me, close to hot, not too hot. So my pores can open. So 
you hold it. One level, two, three. I put on three, uh -huh. And I just drag, I press really hard, like, oh wow, that's a lot. I go like this. Kinda hurts a little bit. Ew, it's so nasty. Ah, uh, hurts. I go like on the nose right here. I get a lot of tiny white heads. Sometimes makeup sticks to my dead skin. Oh, nasty. This stuff really works though. I do need a facial, honestly, but for now, this is what I got. Ah, did it die? Just, what's going on? Like I'm doing my skincare thing and it just dies on me. Well, at least I got my nose. Luigi, I do my nose anyways, but you guys, this is so nasty. Look at this. I'm trying to get it to focus. Just focusing on my hand though. Let me see. Focus! Let me find what the way it'll focus. There you go. I don't know if you guys can like. Yeah. Why isn't it focusing? Hold on. Alright. Focus. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but that's freaking nasty. Disgusting. Disgusting. But it really works. So now I'm gonna go in with the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Alcohol Free Toner and Rose Petal. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot. So you want to take cotton pads, I have two. Um, put some on there. And self-explanatory, wipe the face. I kind of press it into my skin a little bit. And I heard that this is supposed to like tone your face and kind of take away like the redness over time. This feels so good on my skin because my skin is so dry. Like, so dry. I like push this into the skin. Because I don't know if you know this, but when you push, the product kind of like pours out. You know when you take like a wet rag and you twist it and it strains out? It's kind of like that. Instead of just like wiping it, like I feel like, ooh, my face is still kind of dirty. Kind of. I don't think you can tell. It's still a little dirty. Do a little bit more. And just push it into the skin. 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 Into the skin. <laughs> I recently like had a breakout over here, right here. Matching! I think it matches. That was bad. I hate getting pimples by your lip. That's like so embarrassing. And even when you cover it with makeup, it still looks disgusting because it's just dry ass skin. All right, ugh, I got a piece of cotton in my mouth. All right, whoa, so, what do you do, baby boo? So I still have this NX and Beauty. I used this last year. This shit's probably expired already, but it's been working though. It's the Acne Edit Spot Treatment. I can't find my face cream. I usually put a face cream all over my face first. But I put, let me like shape. I put a little bit here, a little bit here where I'm breaking out. Uh, I dot a little bit over here. I dot. Some over here, and I kind of like pat it. I don't really rub it in. Ooh, it's burning. It's supposed to. And I just tap it. I kind of rub it in a little bit. Tap it in. You ever like just like dance in the mirror sometimes? Put a little bit around my nose. 
I'm good sometimes. And I just blend it in. And I usually put on comics right after, but we're not done yet. We're not done. You're like, sis, I thought we're done because you did your your face. Part of my night routine, honey, boo-boo, is brushing your teeth. Um I like these better than the ones that you gotta like get in there. Like these are so much easier for me. They are. So I floss. My teeth feel so different when, like when I floss. Like I don't know how to explain it. But if you floss, you don't come up. I usually use one for the bottom and then another one for the top. I kind of can't get in between some of my teeth because they're really like tight together. But I try to. Ooh. Another one. Here. Oh wow, look at that, a piece of meat. This is going to be nasty, but this is why you should floss. And just rinse that off. Because if you don't floss, you get gingivitis. And your gums get irritated. See? See, mommy? <laughs> so. After you're done doing that, well, after I'm done doing that, I use an electrical toothbrush. This is Oro Gel, Oro Gel, Oro B. Uh, my dentist recommended this to me. What is it called? Like, do they call them like a dentist? Like, the place is called a dentist, but what do you call like the person who cleans your teeth? Like, not the assistant, but like the main one. I don't know. Anyways, so obviously, this electric. I can't talk. Electrical toothbrush helps me a lot. I don't. Once I started using this, I don't ever use a regular toothbrush. This cleans my freaking teeth, for real. Using Crest toothpaste. Using Crest. <laughs> All right. And I usually brush my teeth for two minutes. So I'm gonna speed up this part. Whoa. Finish. I love that feeling. Like my dentist always told me that you should feel your teeth, like the back of your teeth, like separate. Like it shouldn't feel like you shouldn't feel that like cast over it, like a lining. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Man? Like basically you'll know when you have no buildup on your teeth when you can like feel your teeth like every freaking tooth. Because, I'm not gonna lie, at one point I had gingivitis. I was back on brown teeth earlier this year and I was scared. I thought my teeth was rotten and it was because I wasn't flossing properly and I wasn't doing it correctly. You're supposed to floss. I didn't know you were supposed to floss before you brush your teeth. I would floss like after. Sometimes I wouldn't floss, but I've been doing it and it helps. And then when you go in with your mouthwash and it burns and it's really getting in your gums because you just flossed and you just buffed your teeth out pretty well. So we're gonna go in with some butt wash. And open it. I know that I wouldn't. I know that I wouldn't. 
Is that the words? So good. So good. you. I'm weird. So I am done with my skincare and night routine shenanigans. Pretty long video. But thank you for watching. Drink it good way. Look at this like painting. I actually did that painting when I was um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it also comment share and subscribe thank you for watching by the way if you made it to the end um turn on your post notifications so you will be alert whenever i do post a new video it will be the bell button by subscribe on my channel follow me on my snapchat and my instagram my instagram is roshana and my snapchat is roshana xo it will be an intro and outro this video don't forget to check out my lashes at shanaapanthi.com slash shop will be right here and in the description i'm right now bro um yeah this is what i do to keep my face um presentable it ain't perfect yeah but i will see you in the next video i've been vlogging by the way hopefully i get a good make me vlog for these like next few days because i haven't been vlogging from my work so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye